Today we're in Leo Fuchs studio and I have to say this place is packed full of some of the most beautiful, color drenched, interestingly effective compositions. Hi, I'm Christina Demuse and today we have Leo by yourself. Hi, I'm Leo Fuchs. Yes, Leo Fuchs is a very well known artist in Palm Desert. Probably should be showing in New York or Chicago. Stuff is very sophisticated. And this painting back here, the thing that's so fantastic about it, I gotta tell you, if you take a look, see at it right here, see how big it is? Unbelievable. But the thing I don't understand, I mean, here we have an atomic explosion going on yeah. right now. Why is it so orderly? As you can see back here, the colors are so luminescent so amazing in the way he's broken this down in kind of a, math a mathematical, scientific way that you can see that it just kind of pulsates with light and energy. And so <laughs> if you understand the physics, uh, you know, uh -huh. then you know that even at the level of a nuclear explosion, yeah. Yeah. there is an orderly structure that underlies it, as there is in all of nature. I have to say, that is... Bizarre. I have to say that is bizarre. He's an intellectual, this guy. I mean, he's unbelievable in the way that he approaches something which I consider rather destructive and visceral. So well, th this piece is actually an is image of a nuclear explosion. Oh. Oh my God. I try to make yeah. art that uh, actually opens up the possibility of having a realization that is beyond the field of desire or beyond the field of fear and disdain. Two, three. All right, I would like to present another thought, and that is that physics has uncovered, as did ancient mythology, everything that underlies life. And that which underlies it is what moves and informs all life. Wow. To hold you in the still point of awareness mm -hmm. where you have a moment with the art where you, uh, what I call aesthetic arrest. And you know, I gotta say that's one of the most amazing explanations for this piece. Everything that modernism has attempted to establish in the 20th century has basically failed or been overused and has become trite. And so, really, artists today are searching for new ways to bring some kind of idea to their art, and they mistake the idea of being weird with being creative and original. All right. The name of this piece is Duality Dance, and uh, because everything in the universe is in duality, we live in the field of duality, time and space. Uh, duality has been in everything that we can remember throughout history. Okay, Here, here's a painting I did when I was younger. Oh my God. Uh, oh, I ain't painted in the spell, but this is here is the one. It's called perturbation. And what I'm speaking about here is forms and life manifesting themselves as they emerge from the field of infinite possibility. Okay, take your clothes off. He says, now lay down there. And he says, now start masturbating. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, Dolly that was, was Salvador Dolly. Dolly was one crazy dude. I <laughs> Andy Warhol brought him a painting uh -huh. at a hotel where he was having a big luncheon. He would be there every Sunday. And important people were allowed to sit at Dolly's table. And Andy Warhol brings him a painting. And Dolly throws it on the floor and pisses on it. <laughs> and Andy Warhol was delighted, saying, hey. Dolly pissed on my painting, isn't it great?